this video we're going to see how to do inventory tracking. So quantity based inventory tracking means you don't care about each individual item. It doesn't have a serial number attached to it. So on the checkout page you're just going to see a number field and enter the quantity shift or quantity returned. Now a serial number based is just showing a screenshot of where you would enter those serial numbers in our system. You can see that each individual inventory has a serial number tracked to it. Now this is another representation showing what a SKU is versus what a serial number is. The SKU is a representation of the product, a unique number, but the inventory is tracked by a serial numbers. So in this case we have inception as a SKU and we have two stock of that. So stock number one is incept 001 and stock number two is 002 and those are serial numbers. Now this is what it looks like on the checkout page in our system you'll see that there's a serial number field and you'll be scanning via barcode or RFID tag the serial number or as an alternative you can select them from the drop down list. So we'll be showing that later in a live form on a screencast. Now watch here as we go to our product called Inception and we've already filled in the data for it, the name, the description, the short description. We put in a SKU as Inception so now let's go ahead and jump over to the inventory tab on the left side here. Now notice here we put in two quantity and we enabled serial number tracking and we added those serial numbers. So that's in step 0, 0, 001 and 2, but let's re-add them just so you see how to do that. So you click it twice and we'll go ahead and put in step 0, 0, 001 and in step 0, 0, 002 are two serial numbers. Now we can just go ahead and save the product. Now notice here we're going to be going to the Dymo barcode printer. Um, this is just a label maker program that comes free with the Dymo printer. You can use any printer you want really, like uh, there's other ones available like Brother. They're all pretty similar. So this is the main page. We're just going to make a new label and we can do that by double clicking over here and we'll choose barcode from the available formats. So we'll go ahead and select that and save our format here. Now we're going to right click on it and we can go to properties. And here's where you can enter the barcode format. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. And that's also where you put the barcode number or serial number, we can say. Now we've gone ahead and made it. We're going to go ahead and print it now. As a quick side note, you may want to import a CSV or spreadsheet of all your serial numbers at once. So in your barcode system, your printer, you would go into the menu you see here and from there you would select a CSV file. Let's go ahead and see how we do it now with putting that serial number into the order when we check it out. So we're going to go to sales order grid and we'll click on ship. And from the ship button you can think of that as checkout. Uh, we'll click on that and this is the page we're presented with showing the products that are in the order and order information and the important part to note here is the quantity to ship and the serial numbers input area. Now you can choose from a drop down the serial number that's attached but here is where we're going to actually scan in with the barcode scanner or RFID scanner the serial numbers attached to this product and that will attach it to the order. Now watch as we scan it with the barcode scanner and you'll notice what happens on the screen. Instead of typing it, it's just going to scan it in. So there's a the serial number. Now let's do it with an RFID scanner. Now you can watch on the screen the same exact thing happens. It's going to put in a serial number. So we thank you for watching. In this video you've learned how to do inventory tracking with serial numbers and how to tr those translate into barcodes and RFID tags as well as how to print barcode labels.